Okay, so I guess why don't you go ahead and, and talk us through this scene here. Okay, well, it's interesting because I don't remember a whole lot about this, but I do remember getting the script and thinking, you know, talking with my agent, I don't know if I should do this because I'm, you know, I'm classically trained and I was afraid it would cost me roles in other dancing movies. And, and to this day, I feel like um, right there, it cost me the audition to the prequel to Dirty Dancing, which is, that's the one where baby is a baby. Well, what's really a shame, too, because, you know, when I talk about those people, they say, oh, is that the dancing film? And it's not really a dancing film. Um, what was with moving the chair there? What was the motivation? Okay, so that's just a metaphor about life, you know, because you, you sometimes you, you have this obstacle that you think is in the way, and then you move that obstacle, and it turns out it was just you the whole time. Right. Well, this thing is just latent with metaphors, too. I mean, with the lighting, it just really grabs you in and just really immediately communicates that something shameful is going on. Right. And then, of course, I'm placed right in front of the clock, so it's kind of juxtaposing me uh, with something that does keep rhythm. Right. Which is a reminder, once again, that this is not a film about dancing so much as it's a film about, about fear. Deep you know? fear. Right. Like right here, like coming up on this shot, you could just see in the face the, the inner panic right there yeah and it's not just like a fear there's this fear with a little tinge of regret right. like what have what have i done exactly. what have i got I'm, myself into i appreciate you noticing that but and this this whole thing is just meta because the song is lean on me and it's a song about where you go uh, when you're down but what it what what if the song is what's causing the greatest regret in your life is it better for the song to never been written well it's those kind of questions that make great films <laughs>